Hi, I'm Susan. This is Lolly's Blast Off Yoga. We are going to move and flow and stretch and strengthen and really just being aware of how we feel as we move through our practice. And just so just be aware of how you're feeling and have fun. So let's just lay on our backs and just bring your knees up to your chest and give them a little hug. Let your shoulders relax on the floor and maybe roll your knees a little bit side to side around in circles and just kind of relax your body and start to kind of take, take notice of how you feel right now. Breathing through your nose and just relaxing letting go of whatever is going on in your mind right now and just start to think about how you feel. And we're just gonna bring our feet down to the floor, rest your arms at your sides and let your knees rock a little bit side to side like windshield wipers. Just rocking gently and breathing through our nose and just kind of paying attention to how you feel all through the practice today. All right. Now, let's stretch out long and tall. Straighten out your legs and reach overhead with your arms. Reach, reach, reach. Stretch long and tall. Point your toes, reach with your fingertips. And then bring your right knee up to your chest. Reach behind your knee and pull your knee to your chest. Stretch it out. And now let's stretch out long and tall again. Reach and straighten your legs. And we're gonna bring our left knee up to our chest and pull in towards your chest. One more time, reach out long and tall. And this time, bring both of your knees up to your chest. Give them one more little hug. And now, let's open up our arms out to the sides, all the way out like the letter T, making your body like the letter T. Keep your knees up over your hips. And we're just gonna let our knees roll to the left, all the way down to the floor. Rolling down. Ah, just let them sink down and feel a nice big stretch from your shoulder all the way down the side of your body. And now we're gonna bring our right arm up over our body and we're gonna reach all the way across and reach past your left hand, stretch it out. Big stretch across the upper back. And now bring your right arm all the way back around and bring your knees back up over your hips. And now we're gonna roll to the right. Let your knees sink down. Just stretch for a few moments, trying to keep your left shoulder on the floor. And then we're gonna bring our left arm up across our body again. And we're gonna reach past our right hand. Stretch as far as you can with your left hand. Oh, couple breaths here. And then bring your left arm back up across and raise your knees. Now we're just gonna kind of roll back and forth and do that same stretch. So roll your knees to the left and bring your right arm up across at the same time. Reach and stretch. And now let's go back to the right again. Lift your knees and bring your left arm up and over and push past your right hand. One more time, we're gonna roll to the left, bring your knees up, bring your right arm with you, reach past your left hand. And last time, we're gonna roll to the right, bring our knees up and roll and reach. All right, bring your left arm back up, bring your knees up, and reach behind your knees now. And we're just gonna rock all the way up to a seated position. And from here, we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. So we're gonna be in tabletop position here. 
All right, and let's move through just a few cat cows. Let's rock our hips forward and tuck our chin into our chest. Pretend you're pushing the floor away from you, arching your back like a Halloween cat. And now we're gonna come to a cow. Pull, rock your hips up towards the ceiling, look up, let your chest lower down so your tummy drops down towards the floor. And now let's go back into a cat. Ah. One more time into a cow. Just paying attention to your spine loosening up here. One more cat. Push the floor away from you. Pull your tummy up. And let your tummy lower down. Look up. Let your chest lower down. All right, now from here, we're gonna tuck our toes under, walk our hands forward out ahead of our shoulders, and then pushing your hands into the floor, I want you to push your hips back to your heels. So we're coming to an extended child's pose. Nice long stretch from the fingertips all the way up the arms and down your spine. Now come on up, walk your hands back below your shoulders, and we're going to lower our tummies all the way down to our mat. And then from here, we're gonna push back up again, push your hips back to your heels, and walk your hands to the left, okay? Use your right hand to push into the floor and push your hips back again to your heels. Big stretch. Walk your hands back to center. Bring your shoulders forward and lower down to your tummy. All right, you guys doing okay? All right, let's push up again and push back. Oops, walk your hands to the right and use your left hand to push your hips back. And let's stretch out the left side of the body. One more time, walk your hands to center and bring your chest forward, lower your tummy down. And this time, start to push your hands into the floor and come up into a cobra. Lift your chin pushing your hands forward and down into the floor. All right, let's tuck our toes under, lift our hips into a downward facing dog. Oh, just kind of pedal your feet like you're walking your dog here. Pedaling, letting your knees bend, your hips rock. Ah. All right. Now come up on your tippy toes. Push your toes into the floor. And then bring your shoulders forward. Let your hips come down and come to a plank. Lift your hips up high and push your heels back into the floor, lifting your toes up. All right. Come on down to your knees. And from here, we're gonna move through bird dog or balancing table. So we're gonna reach out, reach your right arm forward, and then push your left leg back. Ah, there we go. And then bring your knee and your hand back down. Good. And we're gonna do the other side. So let's reach the left arm forward and then push your right leg back. Really kind of getting steady here and bringing our hand and knee back down to the floor. So we're gonna add on to that a little bit. Let's reach forward with our right arm and extend your left leg. And now we're gonna tuck our elbow to our knee. Just tuck it in, round your back, and reach back out again. And tuck it in and extend. One more time, let's tuck it in 
and extend and bring your knee and your hand back down to your mat take a little breath and let's finish up with the other side so let's reach forward with our left arm and extend your right leg and let's tuck our elbow to our knee and extend and tuck it in and extend one more time tuck it in and extend and come back down to your hands and knees take a little breath all right so we're going to do one more on our hands and knees before we start moving up onto standing let's tuck our toes under and what you're going to do is push the floor away with your hands and then lift your knees just over your mat so you're floating your table is floating here and then bring your knees back down you can untuck your toes walk your hands forward and push back into a child's pose And we're going to move around a little bit with that. We're going to do an animal walk. Bring your hands back and tuck your toes. Good. Here we go. Let's lift off and we're going to walk our right hand and left foot forward. Left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. Now we're going to go backwards and we're going to go back left foot right hand and right hand left hand right foot oh you got it just keep walking back and then come all the way down to your knees walk your hands forward and push back to child's pose let your knees rock gently side to side like windshield wipers Oh, good stuff. And then we're going to go to rest or Shavasana. So just find a position that feels good to you, whether it's on your back. You can keep your knees bent if that feels good to you today. You can straighten your legs. You can lay on your tummy or on your side, whatever feels good to you. Just begin to let all the energy effort that you're holding in your body, let it drain into your mat. And start to pay attention to how you feel now after you've been moving around. How does your body feel? Paying attention to your breathing. <sighs> 